Well, first of all, I think it's important to, to recognize that civilian victims during the war were not a major priority of the United States. Um, I learned uh, uh, much to my shock and chagrin from a fellow campaign worker in the Hubert Humphrey presidential campaign in 1968, Arthur Morse, who had written a book about six million died about the acquiescence of the Roosevelt administration and the, and the knowledge of the genocide that was occurring, and, and they weren't much more of a priority after the war. So the question then is, why did this come back 50 years later? And I think it was a succession of three events, all of which occurred in the 1990s and sort of created this, you know, cosmic explosion that brought the issue back. The first was that victims, survivors, were simply coming to the end of their natural life cycle. And I don't know, uh, President, uh, whether this was a situation with your family, but for thousands, tens of thousands of survivors, they, they shielded their stories from their own families. Now they were coming to their own end of their life cycle, and there was a dire, desire to tell their stories, to reconnect with what had been taken from them. The second, the second part of this cosmic explosion was the end of the Cold War. After World War II, any impulse to try to help the hundreds of thousands of survivors of stateless refugees who drifted into displaced persons camps and so forth was quashed and extinguished by the Cold War itself. And all of the energies of the United States, which might have been used to try to help survivors, instead was projected forward to create the Western Alliance, NATO, to combat the new Cold War Soviet threat. And so it looked like the whole interest in Holocaust justice would evaporate into the midst of history. So when the Cold War ended, it opened up archives that had previously been under the control of the communist governments. It allowed people who were behind the Iron Curtain and couldn't travel to try to reconnect. Um, and it allowed our energies to go back and look at what had not been done in the past rather than simply look forward to, uh, to the Soviet threat. And third, at the same time, um, we had the uh, 50th year anniversaries, which were very important in Europe and which Fran and I witnessed personally, of major World War II events, D-Day, the Battle of the Bulge, the end of the war in Europe itself. And these caused journalists and historians to do 50 year retrospectives, to look back on what I call in the subtitle of my book, uh, the unfinished business of World War II. 